Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 328. The title of today's lesson is What's the Difference Between License and Permit? Yeah, this is another one where uh, it will often come up, students will ask, well, what's the difference between the two? And to be honest, when you're asked on the spot, it's really not that easy a question to clearly distinguish. So we're going to cover some ideas here where, so today where you'll know when you're more likely to hear license and when you're more likely to hear permit. All right, so let's look at the notes. Uh, the first part, actually, we're going to look at some similarities. So both licenses and permits are provided by someone in authority, uh, usually a state or a government. Uh, both could be terminated, both could be ended, or revoked. Revoked means like taken back. Uh, for misuse, for improper use. Both are technically contracts. So you have a contract with the state. Okay. All right, let's continue. So this is how they differ now. They differ in several ways. Uh, licenses are permanent unless abused. So just like we said before, you know, they could be revoked uh, or taken back, you know, if you break rules or laws. But if you don't do that, you can probably keep it for the rest of your life. Um, some you may have to renew, uh, some you don't. Okay, for example, a marriage license, you don't have to uh, ever renew it as long as you're not going to get a divorce, as long as the marriage is not going to end. The marriage license goes until, you know, either one of you die or, you know, it just goes forever from that point. So, um, licenses. Some, um... Yeah, so, so some uh, licenses do not have to be renewed and is only ended if the marriage ends. So, you know, with a marriage license. License is for driving or practicing law, you know, for example, etc. must be renewed. Yeah, so again, it's not taken away or you don't lose it as long as you just keep renewing it. So you just have to bring in the old one and it's just a formality that they will you know, just renew it again. You just have to pay another fee. That's probably the main idea. So it's not taken away at that point. So you could just keep going with the same one, even if you don't, you know, drive, or even if you don't practice law. I've often heard that one with law lawyers too. Even if they stop practicing law, usually they will still renew it because they know that that's, uh, that's an expensive uh, license to have and you don't want to just let it, you know, just let it go. Uh, must be renewed. Licenses will be used more in regard to businesses. Yeah, so if it's for running a business and paying your taxes and stuff like that, or, you know, being allowed to sell certain things, probably license is more likely to be used in that situation. All right, let's continue. Permits usually do have time limits. Uh, once they expire, you must apply for a new one. So it's not the same thing as renewing. Uh, if your permit runs out, you don't usually bring in the old permit and you, and you just renew it. You just have to apply over again for another permit. Um, in the case of a driver's permit, uh, it is used mostly to allow someone to learn to drive. And usually uh, one will upgrade to a license after passing a driver's test. So if you got your permit and you didn't learn to drive in time and your permit expires, you just have to apply for another permit again. But you don't bring in the old one and renew it. I think you still have to actually even take the written test again. So you just completely apply all over for a new one. Okay, well, let's continue. Uh, licenses don't have many restrictions. They don't usually have too many limits. Uh, however, permits do, okay. Uh, for example, a driver's permit is only allowed to be used with another driver, you know, another licensed driver, uh, who uh, already has a license supervising you. So there is a lot of rules sometimes to permits. Uh, permits for underage drivers, uh, well, I guess if you're under 18, like some people, you're 16 or 17, you can get permits too, but uh, just like they say here, there may be time limits to day hours. They may not allow you to drive at night, uh, too. So there could be other reasons for uh, other other distinctions. Uh, all right, let's continue. Uh, permits are more likely to be inspected more often. Okay. Uh, for example, if you're caught fishing in certain areas, uh, authorities may ask 
to see your permit to see if you make sure you actually got one. Now there are uh, fishing licenses too. Anything connected to a business would probably be fishing license. Uh, but another thing you should really note about this, uh, even though these are more generalities, uh, there are probably literally thousands of licenses and permits for numerous amounts of things. So is it possible you could find maybe one type of license or permit that may disagree with something we say here? Maybe, but this is probably true in most cases. Uh, let's continue. Um, since licenses are more permanent, uh, they tend to be uh, official cards or more official cards, often with a picture ID. Yeah, maybe. Uh, permits may, uh, may often just be, sometimes it's a sticker, a little sticker you put on something, uh, or uh, a paper, just some paper you pull out, because it's, it's not always meant to be permanent, it may be temporary, so it doesn't have to be as official, it may not be a laminated card or a special hard type of card that's more durable, it just may be a piece of paper uh, to display somewhere if it is being checked. And uh, for example, like a parking permit, maybe your this parking permit just sim simply allows you to park, uh, you know, legally in a certain area. You can have a parking permit. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, I hope this helps. I hope you got a better understanding now between license and permit. Anyway, I hope you found it informative. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.